Hey everybody, Chris Grandy with a two-minute idea. <clears throat> I want to talk, since it's the new year and New Year's resolutions and all that stuff, I want to talk about putting yourself in position to win. Giving a little example from myself and how being not in position can hurt you, but then what some things you can do to get in position. Here's my example. Uh, you know, we're out in California for a year, as many of you know, and we sold our house in the Boston area. We lived right next to a gym and walking distance to a lot of stuff, playground right across the street, tennis courts, etc. And we would go, I went to the gym three, four, five times a week. It was also kind of because they had kids club there, I used it to replace a couple of hours of, of preschool daycare time with the kids. It ended up, the gym membership actually saved me money. Uh, I was getting about $1,000 worth of childcare out of that membership, the family membership, which was costing us a little under 200 a month. So tremendous bang for the buck. And I was working out, it was motivating me. It's basically out my backyard and through a couple of trees, there was the gym. And I was getting in super fitness shape with a trainer, doing everything right, doing all kinds of those athletic and um, durability type of exercises that are important. Uh, you know, laterals, just all kinds of things that like athletes do to make sure their body is durable. I was doing that because frankly, I was starting to kind of break down too much sitting around, not much activity. And then if I did any activity, it certainly wasn't hitting all the muscle groups. So I was doing great. Then we come out to California and I don't have a gym behind me. So I started doing some different exercises and things, but it wasn't the same. The intensity level wasn't there. The, uh, the whole kind of, uh, of, of the whole picture that I was doing, the, the, the comprehensive nature of my exercises wasn't there. Um, so that kind, that kind of slowed me down and changed things a bit. You know, I probably, I'm probably one of the few people who moved out to California and gained a little bit of weight. I thought I'd be even skinnier out here, but um, and, you know, again, so what's the difference? I found with myself, and you may be like this, and I'm sure maybe maybe some of the people are like this, I don't know, but you need to put yourself in good position to win. And the position to win means that you need to set yourself up in, in a situation where, where you are ready to, to do what you gotta do. And for me, being next to the gym did that. <clears throat> now for me, you know, for example, also too with work, I mean, my workspace needs to be quiet. So what I want you to think about this year is if there's anything you're not doing, is there any way you could put yourself in a position to win? And I'll give you one solution that I did. I watched a YouTube video of the former Special Ops uh, retired Lieutenant Colonel, and he said that, that one of the things that the Army guys would do in the Special Ops was they did a 200 push-ups a day challenge for like a month. So I started doing that. Now, I'm not up to 200 push-ups a day yet, but what happens is you can do push-ups anywhere, so the excuse is kind of gone. I'll just drop down if I'm bringing my kids to the playground. I do I do 20 push-ups right there. So it's not 200 all at once. Like I'll break it up every hour or 90 minutes. I'll do I'll do say 12 push-ups, and you know I've been doing close to 100 a day, and um, so that was one way that I could change kind of my mentality and such, put myself in position to win. I can do push-ups anywhere at home before lunch, before breakfast, the kids at the playground, going for a walk, anywhere, just bang out uh, you know, 10, 12 push-ups. And my goal actually is to, uh, I was doing 10 push-ups at a time, now I do 12. My goal is to bump that up so that with the amount of times I do it and the, the number of push-ups I do per set and the number of sets I do during the day, I can increase a little bit each to get to that 200 and uh, make it happen. So maybe you have some way you can work out to put yourself in position to win. Maybe right now you can't, get done what you need to get done, but there might be some creative way to approach it so that you can get it done. And for me, it was the push-ups. What's your thing? Love to hear some comments below on how you're doing that. Hoping that um, with this little bit, I can just help you have a great start to your new year. And, and uh, you know, if you have good ideas, please share them below. I'd love to discuss and love to get some ideas from you. Have a great day and thanks for watching.